that was our first uh, first journey in 1989. Um, paddle to Seattle from Suquamish, just over to Seattle. My name's uh, Ronald Day. I'm here from Swinomish. We didn't have no family canoes then, and uh, so we participated in the first canoe journey in our war canoe. Emma Oliver had this dream and had this vision and getting the canoes back out in the waters. He went through the process of going through the forestry and whatnot and got like about six logs or something like that and gifted them to other tribes. Gifted them to tribes throughout out in the ocean here. I also think about Ramey Freiberg. He, he talks about this uh, canoe journeys being the biggest celebration you know, here in the States and uh, North America, the biggest celebration um, that's uh, alcohol and drug free. Um, tribal journeys is, uh, you know, the way our ancestors traveled in the past uh, on down these sailor seas here. You know, you don't have to, no rush, no hurries, you know, just get there. Make sure you make it there safe and sound. Uh, that's the way we look at it as canoe journeys too. Uh, just get there, be safe and sound, and so you can rejoice with the uh, people, and you can um, have a song and dance, share food, you know, share culture, share um, arts and crafts, you know, and it, whatever, whatever, um, you know, that's about what our ancestors did, and so that's what we're trying to do to revive it.